Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? What's going on, friends? Haven't seen y'all for a long time. I've been MIA for a good minute. Been uh, moving, like the last video was talking about, right? I've been moving, and uh, I love it here. It's beautiful, the sunshine and the window out there. And speaking of the window, it's tornado-y right now. We just got a warning before I came live with this that there is a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for my area. And um, they are warning against hail and tornadoes. So, you know, if I have to bail in the middle of this video, I'll be back, okay? All right, if you're new to the channel, come on in. Snuggle up to the table right here. It's gonna work the way that it always works. I'm gonna shuffle and pray. I'm gonna lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm really gonna confuse you for a good solid minute, and I will sew together a story for you, okay? If you're coming back to the channel, you absolutely know what to expect, so buckle up, and let's dive in and see what these cards have to say for Taurus. I am a Taurus sun, by the way. Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus on the cusp of Aries April 21st. I just had a birthday and happy birthday Taurus. Happy birthday. It's Taurus birthday month. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Taurus. So let's do this. All right. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Let's do it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming to, towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for, look forward to, and most importantly, how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see this, the ears to hear this, and the words to explain this. Please tell me where that stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. What? Ooh, right there. Does Taurus need to know? All right, let's make sure that we're all lined up in this camera. All new setup, new place, new setup, right? I'm not quite exactly there yet. So let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three bottom of the deck the seven of wands in reverse avoiding something a little overwhelmed about something judgment in reverse and the seven of pentacles to justice look at that two of pentacles the sun in reverse and the tower to the devil in reverse and the eight of swords well we'll take that five of swords because it makes sense to the eight of swords all right let's do this you guys first card out is the eight of cups in reverse so some kind of walking away from something emotional abandonment the four of wands in reverse okay the four of wands in reverse upset in the stability the family the home um the desire to have the family the stability the home the safety uh the or an inability to get it the world closure cycle closure the hermit soul searching introspection guidance the two of swords crossroads and the high priestess i tell you right now i hate this thing that i'm reading on right here i just don't like it i have got to find can't find my purple thing my purple thing that i read the cards on i can't find it anywhere nowhere so we're using this today and i hate it high priestess right it's your guts talking to you the two of wands the future Chariot in reverse in the center of your reading at odds with the universe somehow. The alchemist in reverse is preventing some kind of manifestation. The ace of cups, uh, emotional growth of some sort. The six of swords, some kind of success. The empress in reverse, blockage, codependency. The ace of swords in reverse, maybe not seeing it clearly. Death in reverse, resistance to change or transformation into the queen of wands with the renewal of some kind of mindset prince of swords in reverse the five of cups so that's the mindset right princess of cups in reverse and then the emperor 
to the Eight of Wands. Look at that. The Fool and the King of Pentacles. I cannot make this up. Are you guys seeing this right here? Are you guys seeing this right here? Ah, okay. The Hierophant in Reverse. And then the Prince of Pentacles. Yep. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. Five of... Okay, now we're just doing a lot of repeating, right? So I will stop with that Prince of Pentacles right there. All right, let's see what the heck all this is talking about. Let's just see, Taurus. All right, Taurus. All right, this is what's going on. So this is... A reading for the masculine, okay? But it's not just men. It is the masculine energy. So if you are a masculine Taurus, this reading is for you. If you have a mass, if you are a Taurus and you have a masculine person in your life, then this is for you, okay? So you'll understand in just a second. So these cards are talking to someone who is supposed to be assuming some kind of leadership role. And I know that that traditional roles in relationships are kind of a thing of the past. Believe me, believe me, I dig that. I totally dig that, right? But in a relationship, there is someone who is more dominant and someone who is more submissive every single time, every single time. Okay, um, even with two submissive people, someone is more dominant than the other submissive person. Okay, and in dominant dominant relationships, there's a lot of head clashing. Okay, so someone is always dominant in the relationship. So this is the dominant energy in the relationship. Okay, this particular person, whether it be the Taurus or someone in the Taurus's life, okay, is feeling a sense of emotional hopelessness with the Eight of Cups in reverse right here. Emotional hopelessness. The Four of Wands in reverse says that something isn't right in their sense of stability and safety, and they're feeling emotionally hopeless about the situation at this particular moment, okay? The Nine of Cups. Oops, I'm sorry. What's this about? The Two of Cups in reverse, okay? So this is about some kind of relationship. Doesn't even have to be romantic, but some kind of relationship that Taurus is feeling, or this person, okay, is feeling very emotionally um, hopeless about, okay? The King of Swords says that this person needs to take some accountability. This person needs to assume their role in their life according to accountability and ownership, okay? So the King of Swords is about owning your mind, okay? So this person needs to own their mind, the person that's feeling emotionally hopeless, okay? Why? The world. Because it's time to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to change. It's time to go in a new direction. It's time to close the old chapter of your life and open up a new chapter of your life, to step into a new phase of your life, to take the lessons that you have learned throughout your life and now begin to put them into action in a new growth phase of your life, okay? Where's the world taking you? Well, the Nine of Cups. Everything you ever wanted. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. If you want this in your life, justice. You must be accountable for how to get this in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, justice is always in your best interest. It's right and true and proper, okay? Justice is saying be accountable in this King of Swords for your mindset, right? So you can get the things that are important to you. In this case, it's emotional fulfillment, okay? Right, okay, the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, right? Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in the upright is about not being real upset about it. It's just like, ugh, just 
keep it, don't want it, just take it. I'm just, I just need to go. Eight of Cups in reverse is completely hopeless. The situation is hopeless and you don't know how to fix it or do anything about it and you are overwhelmed with a sense of hopeless emotions, okay? But the guy in the Eight of Cups steps in from the Eight to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, okay? Justice, it's in your best interest, the world, to close this cycle of your life down so you can step into a new life, um, a, a, new, uh, a, a, a new phase, okay? Not necessarily a new life, but a new phase, okay? Hermit, it's time to do some soul searching and some introspection to maybe wrap your mind around, with that King of Swords, maybe wrap your mind around why you can't quite get the emotional connection maybe that you're trying to get okay the hermit soul searching introspection this card also tells me that this particular person whether it is the taurus or the person in the taurus's life okay they avoid things they av av they avoid dealing with the eight of cups in reverse and the four of wands in reverse right and they just wait in the hermit energy for things to get better and the world card says this cycle needs to stop okay this needs to stop if you are going to get what it is that you want to get out of life okay the devil comes on top of all of this all right the hermit says take a step back and let's do some deep soul searching and some deep introspection about how you're going about doing things in this particular relationship all right let's take a look at how you're going about doing things because it needs some evaluation so you can't avoid the devil right here you can't avoid this you have to understand what it is about your flesh your human bone experience that puts you in this emotional hopelessness of the eight of cups in reverse okay okay what's the problem here is the two of swords at a serious crossroads serious crossroads you may not even realize you're at such a crossroads right what's it about the two of cups in reverse being able to maintain a viable relationship because whatever this thing is, which we will see as we get further down in this reading, whatever this thing is here that Taurus feels emotionally hopeless about is Taurus's problem, not the other person's problem. It's Taurus's, it's, it's, it's the person that these cards are talking to's problem, whether it be the actual Taurus or the person in the Taurus's life, okay? That person needs to take some accountability for not healing something, not processing something that causes them, I don't know, maybe causes them to um, feel failure in that devil energy right there. Maybe they uh, are defensive. Maybe this person, there's a sore spot here though, and it's a sore spot that's way out in front. It's really not way, way, way deep inside because I see a reactive person here. And when the reactiveness happens, that's that sore spot of the devil getting triggered. And these cards are saying you're at a crossroads because if you ever want a viable relationship, this has to be addressed because this is going to keep screwing everything up for you and it needs to be addressed, okay? It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What's going on? Well, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles, right? You have someone, the other person, the other half of this two of cups in reverse right here okay the other person so it convoluted right the other person whether it be this taurus or the person with this taurus is ready willing and able to contribute to grow and to create a life of the ten of cups you have the nine of cups and the 10 of cups, right? But you can't quite get to it because you're the eight of cups in reverse. You have someone who loves you. 
You have someone who wants to talk about things. You have someone that is very, very, very willing to collaborate on some kind of foundational security for this relationship. And that devil, pride maybe, is standing in the way of working this out with this person. And it's this person's issue, your issue, this issue, this person. It is your issue. It's not their issue. It's your issue. Okay, now let's talk about it. So the high priestess. High priestess says, um, we're trying to talk to you. We're trying to talk to you through this reading. If you want your own cards read, by all means, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. But the high priestess is trying to talk to you. Your soul's trying to talk to you. Um, perhaps that's why the, I feel such a such a push from that devil card too, is because you know that your soul's trying to talk to you. You know that you're doing something that is not productive or proactive for this relationship, but you don't want to deal with it and you don't want to face it. Whatever it is, you don't want to deal with it and you don't want to face it. And the King of Swords comes on top of this and says, you need to, you have to, you have to take accountability for this thing that you don't want to take accountability for because it's going to ruin this relationship. And if you don't fix it, it's going to continue to ruin all of your other relationships as well. It is. Eight of Swords in Reverse says it's time to have a new perspective. Unlock your mind and figure out why you don't want to dig into something deep within you that is going to help you procure a beautiful and successful life but you just want to avoid it instead of dealing with it. Mm -hmm. The two of wands, the future, the future, the future, the future, followed by the chariot in reverse in the center of the reading. The two of wands says, step into the future, look into the future and understand that you could have something really, really good here, but you got to stop being blameless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. chariot in reverse in the center of the reading because you can't get to where you're going if you don't put in the self-control the willpower and the determination to recognize a flaw within yourself and we all have them recognize the flaw within yourself and say man this keeps coming up in my life it key in different ways different people different situations and circumstances but it keeps coming up in my life what is it what is it Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what you got to do to flip this chariot in the upright so the universe can go with you to where it is that your beautiful thread in the tapestry of divine order is supposed to go, right? But until you understand that it's time to close this cycle of your life out and step into a new way, Ace of Cups over here, emotional growth, right? Emotional growth. Until you do that, you're just going to keep going counterclockwise over and over and over again. And the Fool in Reverse says, this is foolishness. You're off track. You're not paying attention, High Priestess, to what it is that you're supposed to be doing because you are so consumed with maybe being right or being... Um, passive aggressive or just not dealing with your own issue it's foolishness and it's taking you off course the ace of swords see the truth of the situation aha it is me aha maybe it's not you maybe it is me now don't take that wrong right don't get into the whole narcissistic thing where it's always you because that's not cool either right but for that, we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this, right? Aha moment. Maybe I do have to deal with something, whether it's you, Taurus, or the person in Taurus's life. That's what they need to realize. Okay. And then strength comes on top and says, overcome, have the courage to dive in to why you are not willing to understand why you are emotionally defensive. Oh, that's it. Emotional defensiveness. That's that eight of cups in reverse right there. Have the courage, have the strength to dive in and 
try to understand and figure out what happened to you in your childhood that has made you emotionally defensive when it comes to relationships because you got someone that wants to work it all out. They're in control of their emotions. They want to communicate. But Taurus or this person is like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. It's just going to blow over. Everything's going to be fine. But here it comes again and again and again. Okay, you gotta deal with it. Have the courage, have the strength to overcome it. Don't succumb to it because it'll ruin your life. The alchemist in reverse, you can't manifest. An inability to manifest. What? The king of pentacles. The kind of relationship that you want in your life. The success, the stability, the security. This particular person that I'm reading about wants with all of their heart and soul to be a king of pentacles. They do. They do. They want long-term, steady, stable life, relationship, career. They long for that, right? But they can't manifest it in their life, Four of Cups in reverse, because they're emotionally apathetic. They don't understand. Whoever this is, this is probably the first time that this aha thing has come your way. You're the problem. Not everybody else, you, you're the problem. Mm -hmm. You have some deep rooted wounding that you are ignoring and it's preventing you from being the biggest and the best that you could possibly be. It is. Ace of Cups talks about two things. It's right beneath that Two of Cups, right? This Ace of Cups talks about um, love relationships, okay? It also talks about your emotional growth. Whoever this is for needs to grow in their emotions a little bit and exploring this thing that's, that's in your deep subconscious mind is going to create emotional growth in your life. The Six of Wands, and it's going to give you a great deal of success. The Six of Wands is about overcoming the battle, right? Winning, 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 overcoming this battle is going to bring a great deal of success into your life. It is. The Empress in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and Death in reverse, okay? So, this Empress in reverse talks about a couple different things, okay? Empress in reverse being Major Arcana, speaking to you, is about codependency, okay? You are possibly depending upon someone else to emotionally fulfill you, and that can't happen like that. You have to be able to emotionally fulfill yourself before you can expect to exchange in, in an emotional relationship, okay? Um, the Empress in Reverse is about a creative block, right? You're not manifesting according to your intuition, okay? That was that high priestess back there, remember? They, you know that there's something that you need to deal with, but you just keep pushing it away and pushing it away and pushing it away and pushing it away, all right? And when you do that, when you don't listen to your higher self, your ancient soul trying to lead you and guide you, and it will and it does, um, you make silly choices and silly decisions and human um, mistakes, right? That goes back to that devil right there. The Empress in Reverse also says that you're not really viable in a relationship. You can't really participate in the kind of relationship that you want to create in your life while you are not addressing a deep internal issue that is detrimental to your relationships. Okay? Okay. The emperor comes on top of this. This is about taking control. It's about bossing up. Okay, bossing up. This person in this reading needs to boss up. They need to figure out what the heck this is that's trapped in their subconscious mind, while, why they are emotionally defensive, why they want to cover things up instead of dealing with things. And no matter how painful it is or how ugly it gets, it's going to fester inside of you until you dump it out. True. Okay, 
emperor says, take control, take charge, be accountable. Be accountable for yourself, be accountable for your life. Look, seven of swords, because if you don't, you're only betraying yourself. You're only betraying yourself. There is no shortcut to this particular aspect of your life. There's just no shortcut. You must deal with this. And if you don't deal with it, it is going to haunt you in all of your relationships the wheel in reverse. And until you deal with it, the universe cannot vibe with your frequency, okay? Because this is a low vibrational frequency, for sure, low vibrational frequency, right? And you have to dig this up and spit it out. And the healing part of it changes your frequency and you begin to attract universal order into your life. You turn this in the upright and universal order begins to play out before you. But this is an issue that affects everything. Ace of Swords in reverse, maybe denial, maybe not seeing things clearly. Death in reverse, there needs to be a big old gigantic internal personal transformation. There just does. There needs to be a big, huge purging, internal purging for this person. Yep, look, nine of pentacles in reverse because it's a waste of time. You're wasting time. You could be having all of the beautiful things that are important to you in life and you're wasting time, look, harboring repressed emotions. Harboring repressed emotions. Tell me about this. Tell me about these repressed emotions. What is it? What is it? What are the repressed emotions here with this particular Taurus? Okay, okay, so, 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 I clarified this a little bit more, okay? So this inner purging, this inner purging of this devil card right here, okay? This, this rotten spot for Taurus, or for this person, this rotten spot for this person, okay? Death in reverse, talks about some inner purging inner purging. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is about a waste of time, okay? Wasting time. Ace of Cups in reverse in all kinds of repressed emotions. To the hangman. Take a step back, get a new perspective, cut yourself loose from the tree. Judgment. And make some serious accountability decisions about yourself, your life, your future. To the Two of Pentacles. This will balance out your pursuit of what it is that you want your relationship to be. The Ace of Swords. See very, very clearly, very, very clearly, the Queen of Cups, that you got someone that's ride or die. Okay? You got someone that's ride or die. Seven of Cups in reverse, but they are unsure of where they stand with you because of this emotional defensiveness and this emotional hopelessness, possibly an inability to fully and completely emotionally connect. Okay. All right. To the queen of wands, queen of wands that goes to that queen of cups right there. Okay. You got a ride or die. You got a ride or die to the page of swords and they want to communicate. They want to talk this out. They want to work this out. Ten of Swords in reverse and the Prince of Swords in reverse. But you, your mindset is such that you won't consider what this person has to say. Okay? You're getting emotionally defensive. You won't consider what this person has to say. To the Five of Cups, um, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, and the Princess of Cups in reverse. Um, in, in, emotional pain, okay? And, and inability to emotionally connect to the Three of Swords. Grief and sorrow and pain in the mind. This is what needs to be addressed in your childhood. How Connect the dots back to when your little brain was stitching together and figure out how, what happened that made you feel this way. 
sun in reverse because you're not seeing clearly six of cups six of cups uh, talks about your childhood right childhood nostalgia memories you're not seeing clearly that there is something something in your childhood mommy daddy it mommy issues daddy issues there's something in your childhood that is unresolved and unhealed inside of you and it is making you emotionally defensive and if you don't deal with it you're going to keep ruining things okay six of cups to the emperor again the emperor take accountability take accountability the eight of wands change change things change yourself get some therapy get your cards read google some things change yourself find where this is coming from and if you sit back and 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 really start to google some things google emotional abandonment google um um google narcissistic parents google uh avoidance emotional avoidance start googling some things and pretty soon you'll be able to see yourself and you're like oh yeah 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 that's it right there that's it that was my dad yep and this is and that's 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 me or vice versa right it's my mom oh yeah okay i see i see where i'm getting all this from i see what happened bless their hearts they're just doing the best that they possibly can but something from your childhood has fucked you up taurus and you need to get to the bottom of it because it's affecting the way that you interact in emotional relationships take accountability with the emperor eight of wands movement action change change the fool go in a different direction follow your guts do what your guts are telling you to do whatever that is for you follow your guts go in a different direction the king of pentacles so you can be who you want to be so you can be viable in a relationship so you can be that masculine energy that is secure and that is secure within himself be that masculine energy to the hierophant in reverse you got to reevaluate some core foundational belief systems about yourself because whatever this childhood thing has stitched in your brain a belief system that isn't true it's not true you're just believing it because that's what you've internalized about it but it's not true so you have to go back and rebuild your core belief system. What do you believe about yourself? What do you believe about life and marriage and relationships? What do you believe? Mm -hmm. Prince of Pentacles, take, a, take, take as much time as you need to. Take as much time as you need to, but don't be stuck ace of wands in reverse. Don't take too long, don't be unmotivated to dive into this thinking that it will just resolve itself because momentarily it might but in the long run it won't the empress to the star in reverse you got the emperor to the empress right just like this empress back here right you're not being the emperor to the empress and you need to be accountable and step up and communicate and and talk about emotions and goals and plans and expectations instead of just you know just bulldogging it through and saying this is what it's going to be and you can keep up if you want to and if you can't that's okay too that's not how it works and if you want to have a good relationship with anyone particularly the person you're in a relationship with right now you have to Take a step back and reevaluate how you're going about doing things. Bottom of the deck, five of swords, white knuckle grip on a win at all cost mentality. My way or the highway, maybe. Um, if if you if you don't align with every single thing I think and every single thing I feel and every single thing that I want, then I'm just emotionally devastated. That you got to let go of that. Look, eight of swords in reverse. Get a new perspective. The devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. Release that toxic your toxic self back there with that devil in the upright. You got to release the tower or you're just going to keep crumbling all over the place. 
the sun in reverse. What you don't see clearly, two of pentacles in reverse, is the reason that you feel imbalanced in your life. Justice is because you're not taking accountability. Take accountability. Seven of Pentacles. Take a step back, reflect and assess on what it is that you're growing in your life and how you're going about growing it. To judgment in reverse and stop with the self-doubt. There you go. That's the root of everything. That's the root of everything. Self-doubt. This is the emotional wounding from your childhood. Self-doubt. And you got to go back and find out why that is why you feel such a huge amount of self-doubt. Right back to what I just said, right? If someone doesn't agree 100% with what you think and say and feel in the direction that you want things to go, you just clam up and go into the hermit mode until it blows over. And that's not, it's not productive. To the seven of wands in reverse and being overwhelmed, overwhelmed by things, overwhelmed. Give us one card here. One card to send Taurus home. Queen of Swords. Get your mind in the game. Take accountability. Be responsible. Fix what needs to be fixed so the universe can co-create with you what it is that your heart desires in your life. Look. The lovers. Yep, 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 yep. Interesting. Well, there you go, Taurus. There you go. So... If uh, you um, have not addressed this wounding that keeps repeating in your life, you need to do that. If you are with someone that will not address a wounding that keeps repeating in the relationship and in their life, um, they need to do that, right? As far as your advice goes, if you're with that particular person, it's all, that's, 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 that's personal tarot card reading, right? <laughs> There you go, Taurus. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. Who do you think you are? A step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste. Hey, check out my book.